So I'm finna check this little clip out right here. See uh, what the fuck this nigga talking about. You know what I mean? Niggas always got some shit to say when shit ain't going their way. You know what I mean? But, like I said, I'm gonna check this shit out. See what the fuck is going on. Drop me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts is on what the fuck. What is it, Fendi? Yeah, I, th I think that's what it is. Let's see what the fuck cuz talk about. We go chop it up after. I'm back, man. I'm back bigger than ever, man. Come up DVD Vibe 23, back like Jordan, man. Let's get this shit started right. Yeah, let's What's get good? this shit started right. right. I mean, everybody know this DVD right here started Nicki Minaj's whole career. I changed her name. I changed her image. I mean, Nicki Minaj is argu arguing because I wanted her to be the sex symbol and talk about pussy and get niggas open. And she told me I was disgracing her name. But she's still talking about pussy. And ass, ass, ass. So... So is she following my blueprint? I gave it a Debbie on some management shit, which is Waka Moms. This shit went left after that. So Nikki go to Atlanta and Nikki becomes a new Nikki after that. Debbie started questioning me what I was doing with Nikki as far as what I ever did for her. So now Nikki hanging out with Debbie. I call Nikki up, tell her about my birthday party coming up. Nikki starts telling me, well, I need to holler at Debbie. Nikki piggyback off Debbie to get with Puff. Puff ain't there no more. Debbie ain't there no more. Safari might not be even there no more. I mean, what's really good? Who the fuck is Safari, though? That's her boyfriend. I, I, she gave me credits on the album. What he fucking do? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Finney for teaching me everything. You know what I'm saying? I read that. I was like, okay. Where the fuck is the money at? <laughs> I'm the reason why Nicki Minaj is with Young Money. Did they compensate you financially? No, at all. Hell no. No, and not at all. I, I, I spoke to Tez, who, who's the president of Young Money, Right before Wayne came home, and he was like, yo, fan, when Wayne get home, we're going to straighten you out. I was like, all right, Taz, no doubt. Nigga, I ain't heard from Taz since. This ain't the bash Nicki Minaj interview on the come up to make some sales. You asking me real questions, I'm giving you real answers. So let's get into um, the other artists that you had. Gravy. Like, oh, Gravy. I mean, Biggie. Whatever. Biggie Gravy. Gravy. What, which one? We, we talk about I want to talk Biggie about. Man. I want to talk about Biggie is dead. First of all, okay, well, rest well, of dead. Well, well, I'm hearing Gravy Biggie now, so I don't know which one. Gravy, Jamal a, Willard. Yeah, that's who we gonna talk. All right, what's up with him? I was Gravy Streets. Jamal, Biggie, whoever. I was to the feds. The nigga never wrote me. Never said nothing. I came home and still got it with him and put him back on his feet. Gravy was my son, like a nigga I took care of, like my little boy. Nigga's jury was fake. I got a real jury. Anything negative and gravy that come out of gravy mouth about me, nigga need to smack him for that. Cause he ain't built like that. He telling niggas, oh yo, I don't fuck with son. How you don't fuck with me? No, I don't fuck with you. Damn, dirty money, the group. I ain't gonna charge you one dollar. Give me the paperwork. Signed off. Right now, I ain't really feeling puffy, to be honest with you. That was kind of whack, but Puffy never stole my name or none of that. I, I, I authorized him legally. Use my name for the group. That's it. I still own Dirty Money. I'm back for, for more than one reason. Like, I watched a lot of the other DVDs. I saw your man Sub Zero talking shit about, yo, Fendi, what up? And every time I watch a DVD, I think I'm watching a porn. So I don't know if I'm going to pull my dick out or bring my niggas over and watch the DVD. I'm lost. So, George Tower Films. Fat white dude from the Bronx. The nigga was taking my name off the DVD and putting it on World Star. And getting all the credit, Jordan Tower Films. Nobody knew who Jordan was before the come up came out. And I put him on the World Star. Doki Diamond put him on the World Star. You know what I'm saying? So World Star in the beginning, they put Jordan name at the top, Jordan Tower Films. He was living off of what I was giving him. Because I went to Toronto and niggas pulled out hammers like, yo, nigga, you owe me my bread. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, homie, what do you think? Yo, Jordan was out here shooting a come up, and I know you have something to do with it. E Tower had footage of me without me even telling them to use my footage. They threw me on TV, I ain't get a dollar. Then I come to find they paid Jordan for my footage and Jordan answered my call since. You get paid, you don't give me one dollar. It goes back to everything I'm fucking saying. Ain't no loyalty in this shit at all. Fuck yeah. everybody. Damn, man. Hey, man, that's some crazy shit. That's some crazy shit.
I don't know, man. I wasn't there, so once again, I'm here for the comments, man. Let me know what the fuck was happening. Let me know what the fuck is going on. You know what I'm saying? Is it true? Is it not true? Y'all heard it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all heard what Kill was saying. Drop that in for me, man. Let me know. If that shit is real, you got some shady shit. This shit is always two sides to a story, but it's the truth, man. You feel me, so? Damn, let me know something.